Hello and welcome to a new Pregistry video production. Today's topic is understanding the pregnancy and lactation sections of my medication label. This presentation is intended for an audience in the United States of America. If you are a resident of another country, this presentation will not be relevant to you. Most prescription medications sold in the United States include a package insert. The package insert is also known as the label. The label provides a large amount of information about the medication, including its safety, so that your doctor can decide whether this medication is right for you. Up until June 2015, the label included a pregnancy category that was intended to help doctors decide whether a medication could be safely used by a pregnant woman or not. The pregnancy categories were A, B, C, D, and X. A medication received a pregnancy category A if studies in women suggested that it is safe in pregnancy. A medication received a pregnancy category B if animal studies showed that the medication is safe during pregnancy, but there are no human studies to confirm this. Skipping to category X, these are the medications that are harmful to babies and therefore should not be used in pregnancy. In addition to the pregnancy categories, the labels had a detailed section about animal and human studies, a section about potential effects on labor and delivery, and a section about the risk of using the medication for nursing mothers. However, the pregnancy categories and the pregnancy and nursing mother sections on the label were considered confusing and even misleading. For many years, the Food and Drug Administration collected feedback from various groups to decide how to improve the pregnancy and lactation sections of the labels. Finally, in December 2014, a new rule was passed which requires labels to change their format. One of the changes is that there will no longer be pregnancy categories. Also, the pregnancy section and the labor and delivery section of the labels of many medications were merged into a single description, including data from pregnancy registries and other studies in women. The section previously called nursing mothers is now called lactation on many labels. It includes information about using the medication while breastfeeding, such as the amount of medication in breast milk and potential effects on the breastfed baby. A new section entitled Females and Males of Reproductive Potential may not exist on all labels, but if you see it, it includes information about pregnancy testing, contraception recommendations, and information about infertility as it relates to the medication. The changes we just described can already be seen on the labels of some medications. These changes will be made on all labels over the next two or three years. In the meantime, you may still see the pregnancy categories on some of the labels, but as of 2020, they will be removed from all labels. These changes apply only to prescription medications, in other words, to those medications that require a prescription to be sold. Over-the-counter medications such as Tylenol, Advil, or aspirin, vitamin supplements, and herbal products will have no changes. The new format of the pregnancy and lactation sections on labels of prescription medications sold in the United States is intended to give your healthcare provider more accurate information about their safety. If you have any doubt or question, you should always consult with your doctor.